Hey everyone, I'm Zeb Khan and I'm a front-end engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you something different than the usual Angular tutorial. Recently, I resolved a long-standing issue on my WordPress blog related to the cumulative layout shift or CLS metric in Core Web Vitals. Since it took me a while to fix it, I want to share what I did in the hope that it helps someone else. So what are Core Web Vitals? Core Web Vitals is a set of metrics introduced by Google not very long ago which give us a good indicator of the page experience of our website. From June 2021, the Core Web Vitals page experience score is also going to be used as a factor in SEO. So for bloggers who rely on organic traffic, like me, it will become even more important. As part of Core Web Vitals, we have a metric called Cumulative Layout Shift. CLS represents the amount that different elements on your website shift locations when loading. So let me show you first the issue that I was getting with my blog on WordPress. Here you can see my Google Search Console and in the Core Web Vitals tab you can see it showed some 24 URLs which are failing some times ago. And it says that they have average score of greater than 0.25 which is a lot. Note this CLS score is calculated from field data, that is your actual users and, and might be different from what you get in PageSpeed Insights for that same page. After the tweaks that I made, you can see how it has remarkably turned to average and then to good with a green indicator. Now to make all this real, I have reverted the changes that I made to fix the CLS issues for the time being so we can observe the issues that you were getting and go through resolving them in this video. So how did I do it? Well, there was some trial and error but at the heart of it was a way to identify what the issues were exactly. Let's first start with looking at our page speed scores to see exactly how bad the CLS is. We'll go to page speed insights and choose a page on my blog and enter it here and then analyze it. Uh, and let's see the results. We have the field data here but we are more interested in the lab data. So as you can see, the CLS shows up a small number. 0.004 which is green that is acceptable however as I showed you this small score turns into a greater than 0.25 score on field data that is on my real users. One of the reasons for this might be the deferring network speeds on my users devices which leads to greater CLS than we get here. Whatever the reason is clear we need to reduce this score we are getting here so that in turn we can reduce the CLS that we are getting in the field data right here. So how do we do that? Well, we first need to identify what's causing the CLS score. The simplest way to do that is to use the Google Developer Tools Network tab. So let's just visit the blog post to see what issues can be identified. The trick here is to use the Network tab and use Slow or Fast 3G in the options. This will allow us to observe how different elements are loaded on our page and we can then work on them to fix it. So we are going to do Control R on this and then observe the changes. If you look closely, you can also see that there is an initial load of the date and name meta tag here, but then there is a slight shift when the icons are loaded finally. How to avoid this? Well, this is perhaps the most common solution to the CLS issue. We can use a minimum width and height to ensure that our layout doesn't shift when icons are loaded and the space is already allocated for them. When we load it again, if you can load it again, you will also observe that you the layout shifts a bit when our font is loaded. So, uh, so that is also an issue and uh, we need to fix that as well. So let's go ahead and make these changes to my site on WordPress. Firstly, we'll go in our dashboard and in our theme options and disable the Google fonts that we are using instead relying on the system font so there is no layout shift there. We will save the setting and clear the cache. And now we will check out the page speed insights again. Let's do analyze again. Great. So as you can see this reduces the CLS by 0 0.001. Still we need to reduce it further. Let's try adding the minimum sizes now. We'll add some custom CSS to our site targeting the meta class and its icons. Let's go in Appearance, Customize and add some additional CSS. And we're going to target the meta class 
and the icon within them. We'll give them a minimum height of 35 pixels, width of the same amount or maybe a bit less. This is just brought about by trial and error according to the best fit for our icons. So let's publish this and then um, clear the cache again. And let's see whether this makes an effect. Let's, uh, let's load the page speed insights again. Great, so this has a major impact and the CLS becomes essentially zero. This combination of tweaks resulted in my field data CLS also reducing drastically and is now a minor value which can be ignored. This can take a week or more depending on your site traffic. So as you can see, just some minor tweaks to your page can really help with fixing the CLS issues on your site. The result will be green goodness which you can see on your search console and also a better SEO ranking based on Google's upcoming changes. I hope this video helps those who are struggling to debug and fix CLS issues on their sites. There is no magic to it. You just have to closely observe the loading process of your pages and fix individual issues accordingly. If you like this video, do subscribe to get notified about future videos. Thanks for watching.